Okay, the title might shock you, but this brand new item really is the final nail in the coffin for altar training for the prayer skill. In this video, I'm going to cover why that is the case and why you definitely want to be using this item if you're training prayer. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The item I'm talking about is the Powder of Burials, which can be created by grinding 50 Whirler Gig shells, which require level 90 Hunter to get if you're an Iron Man watching this video, but if you're not an Iron Man, you can simply buy these powders off the Grand Exchange or make them yourself. This item is ridiculous because it gives you the same XP multiplier as a Gilded Altar with two lighters lit, or the exact same as the Chaos Altar and the Woolness, which was the new meta before this item was released. This means there's absolutely no reason to ever, ever use an Altar again in RuneScape unless you're an Iron Man without level 90 Hunter, or you somehow want to AFK a little bit more because the Chaos Altar is kind of AFK, but really, once you've watched this video, you will never, ever return to an Altar ever again. Trust me. Alright, now let's cover some facts and it's going to get crazy real fast. The Dragon Rider Amulet does not work with this powder active. In fact, you will actually gain less experience wearing the Dragon Rider Amulet when using this powder. Auto Sanctifiers still use charges, but will not give you extra experience, meaning they are completely useless. Your normal prey XP boosting things and items will work using this powder. For example, the First Age Outfit, Corruption, Harmony, and Salvation Auras, the Wisdom Aura, the Wise Perk, Torstal Incense Sticks, and all that good stuff seem to work with this item. And it works with bonus experience. However, it does not seem to work with double XP. I tested this using one of my DXP pods, which I received from the lockout thingy. So it doesn't seem to work. Maybe there's a, you know, a slight chance it will work on double XP weekend, but I sincerely, sincerely doubt it. Now it does work with bonus XP, which means you're able to get seven times the amount of experience from bones when burying them. And it works with Brawling Gloves. Now that is ridiculous because Brawling Gloves in Deep Wilderness give you four times more experience per bone. Now, the Powder of Burial stacks with Brawling Gloves, meaning you're able to get 14 times the amount of experience per bone. And so does Bonus XP, allowing you to get 28 times the experience per bone. That is wild. Now, Brawling Gloves are a rare drop from thieving and a few other activities, but it still will allow you to get 1,274 bones done before they just disintegrate into ash at that ridiculous experience rate, which is insane. Now, speaking of XP rates, let's have a look at how good this new meta really is. Now, a regular player will be able to get around 1,525 bones per hour done at a Gilded Altar. At a Chaos Altar, this exact same player will be able to get around 1,660 bones done per hour. Now, using Brawling Gloves and simply holding down the key of your bones on your action bar with a Beast of Burden, you're able to get around 3,400 bones done per hour in the Deep Wilderness at the Mage Training Arena. And here it comes, if you're using that exact exact same action bar trick, holding down your action bar and burying the bones automatically, with a bank preset and Beast of Burden Familiar, you're able to get 5,715 bones per hour done. This new prey training meta is 3.44 times faster than the Chaos Altar and 3.74, almost 3.75 times faster than the Gilded Altar, and just as expensive or cheap. This obviously depends on what bones you're using, but let's have a look at those XP rates. As you can clearly see, the XP rates of this new meta are just insane. You're able to get about 24% faster experience using Dragon Bones with this new powder than you were able to get using Searing Ashes, the absolute best XP per item in the game, on the Chaos Altar. That's how insane this method is. So yeah, if you didn't know this was a thing, you're welcome, and I'll be sure to add this video to my prayer guide as it completely changes how prayer should be trained. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.